The animal kingdom is a ruthless place to be. Everything and everyone are fair game for the predators, and the circle of life continues like that every day. But that's just the way it's been for millions of years. The concept of survival of the fittest comes right through this natural phenomenon. However, when it comes to humans, things have been pretty different. Most large predatory animals can, and will, see humans as suitable prey under the right circumstances. However, true man-eaters, that is, individual animals that prefer human flesh over any other food, is very rare. So today, let's take a look at the top 10 worst man-eaters in history. Let's go! Number 10. Man-Eating Seal A seal is not the first animal we normally think of when you're asked to name a man-eater. Antarctica, however, is a home to a terrifying marine mammal known as the leopard seal. Growing up to 12 feet in length and weighing over 1,000 pounds, the almost serpent-like leopard seal prowls the waters of the Arctic ice shelf and displays a ferocious temperament, enormous canine teeth, and the ability to rush towards prey at incredible speeds. During Ernest Shackleton's historic expedition to Antarctica, one of the team members was attacked on land by a huge leopard seal and narrowly escaped after a seal was shot by his companions. In 2003, researcher Christy Brown was seized and dragged down more than 100 feet to her death, the first known fatality after three recorded predatory attacks. Number 9. Two-Toed Tom Two-Toed Tom, a male American alligator, was said to roam the swamps in the border of Alabama and Florida during the 1920s. He had lost all but two toes on his left hand, and left very recognizable tracks on the mud. So he was named Two-Toed Tom by the local people, and was said to have lost his toes into an iron trap. He measured four and a half meters long, and people claimed he was no normal gator, but a demon sent from hell to terrorize them. Tom made himself infamous by devouring scores of cows, mules, and of course, humans, particularly women who were snatched as they were washed clothes in the water. Due to his frequent attacks, many farmers tried to kill Tom, but bullets were said to have little to no effect on him, and all attempts on his life failed. One farmer even tried to kill him using dynamite. The farmer had been chasing Tom for 20 years, unsuccessfully so he decided to throw 15 dynamite-filled buckets into the pond where Tom was supposed to live, and finally to get rid of the problem once and for all. The explosion killed everything in the pond, but not Tom. Moments after the explosion, the farmer and his son heard a horrible scream and splashing sounds coming from a nearby pond. They rushed towards the sounds, but only to see Tom's bright eyes for a moment before disappearing under the surface. The screams were later explained when the half-eaten remains of the farmer's young daughter appeared on the shore. The most amazing part of this story though, is that although he was famous during the 1920s, Tom was seemingly still alive in the 1980s when a huge gator lacking two of his toes was reported in the same swamps where he had roamed his entire life. Many hunts for the living legend were organized, but Two-Toe Tom was never captured. Number 8. Kasegake the most dangerous wild animal in Japan is usually considered to be the Japanese giant hornet, which kills 40 people a year, on average. However, the largest, most powerful land predator in Japan is the brown bear, and perhaps the most brutal bear attack in history took place in the village of Sankabetsu, Hokkaido in 1915. The area was inhabited by brown bears, including a gigantic male known as Kasegake. Kasegake used to visit Sangebetsu to feed on harvested corn. Having become a nuisance, he was shot by two villagers and fled to the mountains, injured. The villagers believed that after being shot, the bear would learn to fear humans and stay away from the crops. They were wrong. On December 9th of 1915, Kasegake showed up again. He entered the house of the Oda family, where the farmer's wife was alone with a baby she was caring for. The bear attacked the baby, killing him, then went for the woman. She tried to defend herself by throwing firewood at the beast, but was eventually dragged to the forest by the bear. When people arrived to the now empty house, they found the floors and walls covered in blood. Thirty men went into the forest, determined to kill the bear, but failed. 
The bear returned a few days later and targeted another family. And in just a span of a couple days, this huge bear had killed eight people of the village. Eventually, a famous bear hunter was approached who revealed that Kasegake was known as a man-eater even before these incidents. The bear was eventually shot dead and the village was abandoned and became a ghost town. Number 7. New Jersey Shark These shark attacks took place in 1916, in a time where very little was known about sharks of any kind, and some scientists even claim that sharks were not dangerous at all. This is one of the very few cases of real man-eating sharks known, with most shark attacks being isolated incidents. It all happened along the coast of New Jersey. The first victim was a young man named Charles Vanson, who was attacked in a very shallow water while swimming with a dog. Several people, including his family, witnessed the attack, and a lifeguard rushed to rescue the young man. The shark was extremely tenacious and seemingly followed the lifeguard to shore disappearing shortly after. The shark teeth had severed Vincent's femoral artery and one of his legs had been stripped off of its flesh. He bled to death before he could even be taken to the hospital. Five days later, another man, Charles Bruder, was attacked by the same shark while swimming away from the shore. At first, it was reported by a witness that a red canoe had capsized. In reality, the red canoe was a giant stain of Bruder's blood. The shark had bitten off his leg. This was the beginning of the great white shark's terrible reputation as a man-eater, and these attacks also became the inspiration for Peter Benchley's most famous novel, Jaws, which would later be adapted into a movie by Steven Spielberg. Number 6. Bear of Mysore There are some very strange legends about the origins of the Mysore killer bear. Some say that the bear was a male and that he originally abducted a girl as his mate. The girl was rescued by the villagers and the bear went into a killing spree as a revenge. Another more believable version says the bear was a female whose cubs had been killed by humans and that she became a man killer to avenge them. However, most experts today believe that the bear was probably injured by humans and became abnormally aggressive as a result. The bear attacked three dozen people in the Indian state of Mysore. In typical bear fashion, it would rip the victim's face off with its claws and teeth, and whoever survived were often left completely disfigured. Twelve of the victims died, and three of them were devoured, something extremely unusual. The bear was eventually killed by Kenneth Anderson, a famed big game hunter. Although the beast was very evasive, and it took three hunts to be arraigned before the animal was finally brought down. Number 5. Beast of Gavadan One of the most infamous man-eaters, as well as the most mysterious of all, this beast, some claim were actually two of them, terrorized the French province of Gavadan from 1764 from 1767. Although often claimed to have been an unusually large wolf, the truth is, the beast was never really identified. It was said to be larger than a wolf, with a reddish coloration and an unbearable smell, as well as teeth bigger than those of a normal wolf. The creature killed its first victim in June of 1764, and this was the first of a series of very unusual attacks, where the beast would target humans, specifically ignoring cattle and domestic animals. 210 humans were attacked. 113 victims died, and 98 of those were devoured. The attacks were so frequent and so brutal that many believed the creature to be a demonic being sent from God as a punishment. Others thought it was a Luguru, a werewolf. Number 4. The Ghost and the Darkness In 1898, the British started the construction of a railway bridge over the Savo River in Kenya. Over the next nine months, the unfortunate railway workers became the target of two man-eating lions. These lions were huge, measuring over three meters long, and, as is usual amongst the lions of the Sabo region, they were maneless. At first, the two lions snatched the men from their tents, dragging them to the bush and devouring them at night, but soon they became so fearless that they wouldn't even drag their victims away and would start feeding on their flesh just yards from the other tents. Their size, ferocity, and cunning 
were so extraordinary that many natives thought they were not actually lions, but rather demons, or perhaps the reincarnation of ancient local kings trying to repel British invaders. The belief of the dead kings became reborn as lions was once very common in Eastern Africa. The two man-eaters were nicknamed the Ghost and the Darkness, and workers were so afraid of them that they fled by hundreds out of Sabo. The railway construction was halted. No one wanted to be the next victim of the Devil Lions. Eventually, the chief engineer in charge of the railway project, John Henry Patterson, shot both of the lions and ended the killing spree. Number 3. The Lions of Jambe At spot number 3, we have the worst case of man-eating lions in history. It was not a single man-eater, but an entire pride that preferred human flesh over that of any other kind of blood. It happened in 1932, in Tanzania, near a town of Jombe. A large pride of lions went into a particularly brutal killing spree. Legend has it that the lions were being controlled by a witch doctor of a local tribe named Maramula Manjara, who sent them into a rampage as a revenge against his own people after being disposed of his post. The tribesmen were so terrified of the man-eating lion that they wouldn't even dare speaking of them, believing that a simple mention of them could cause them to appear. They begged the tribe chief to restore the witch doctor to his post, but he refused. The lions kept attacking and eventually took over 1,500 human lives, some even say over 2,000. The worst lion attack in history and one of the worst cases of animal attacks ever recorded. Eventually, George Rushby, a famed hunter, decided to put an end to the attacks. He killed 15 lions and the rest of the pride eventually abandoned the area, finally ending the nightmare. But, of course, the locals were convinced that the lions left only because the tribe's chief finally agreed to restore Matamula Manjara to his old job. And now get ready for today's top pick. An angry kitty cat. Number 2. Champawat Tigris During the late 19th century, a Nepalese region close to the Himalayans was terrorized by the most notorious and prolific man-eater of all times. Men, women, and children were ambushed in the jungle by the dozens. The attacks were so frequent and so bloody that people started even talking about demons or even punishment from the gods. The creature responsible was the angry Bengal tigress who had been shot by a hunter. She escaped, but the bullet had broken two of her fangs. In constant pain and rendered unable to hunt her usual prey, the tigress became a man-eater. She was eventually killed after hundreds of failed attempts by a British man named Jim Corbett. The tigress had recorded 436 human kills during her reign of terror. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 1. Gustav In the African conflict-ridden country of Burundi lives the greatest man-eater of our times. A male Nile crocodile measuring 6 meters long and weighing around 1 ton. He is the largest Nile crocodile alive as well as the largest individual predator in the entire African continent. And according to the natives, he has killed over 300 people by now. Although still alive and very active, the crocodile named Gustav has already become a legend. Natives say he kills for fun, not just for food. That he kills several people in every attack, and then disappears for months or even years only to reappear later in another, different location to kill again. No one can predict when or where he will appear next. He is also to say to have a monstrous appetite, and rumor has it that he even killed and devoured an adult male hippopotamus, an animal all crocodiles run away from. Gustave's body armor carries countless scars made by knives, 
spears, and even firearms. A dark spot on the top of his head is the only remaining trace of a bullet wound that was supposed to end his reign, but all hunters have failed to kill him. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching today's video, hope that you liked it, and please stay tuned for some more great content.